Hi guys, this is Kathleen, the owner of POW Gym in Chicago. Today we're going to do a martial movement based workout. I'm going to give you my favorite martial arts movements that I feel are the best for overall strength, conditioning, and mobility. This is a great workout for a child or an adult. You do not have to have martial arts experience. But if you do, you can definitely progress or add on additional components to the movement patterns I'm presenting so that you can make it your own training program. A walkout horse stance, which is like a squat. We're going to start with our hands on our hips, and you're going to step out wide, wide, drop, feet together. Then you're going to go left, right, left, right, drop low, feet together. Right, left, right, left, drop, feet together. Left, right, drop, feet together, and repeat. You're only going as low as you are comfortable and that your body feels ready. And time. We're going to move on to alternating knee circles. So my knee lifts and then I open up moving through my hip joint. I'm going to face you. Keep the hips square. So I have your hands on your hips so that you're not tilting or leaning on this. We want to keep the hip joint in place with the thigh without altering the position of the pelvis. Don't worry about counting reps or even doing it as quickly as I am. Move through this at your own pace. All right, moving on. Stretch kicks. I am purposely going low because I don't want you to think that you have to kick high. At this point, we want really good posture. So we're thinking about keeping our spine straight. My shoulder blades are back. Here's a little trick if you have trouble with your posture. Grab your hands behind your back, or your wrists, or your forearms. Notice that as I lift my leg, my foot is flexed, and I should be feeling more of a hamstring stretch all the way through the back of my knee, and I am avoiding a pelvic tilt. I'm a huge fan of dynamic flexibility because it also requires me to balance on one leg. And time. Now we're going to turn sideways. We're going to take our back leg, we're going to bend it, bring it forward, and pivot our feet. I'll do it slow. My back leg lifts up from behind, moving it through my hip joint, and I'm circling it in, facing you, and then I step and turn to the other direction. You can put your hands on your hips or keep your hands free. Notice that I pick my feet up to turn my body. So you notice that we really want to get a lot of hip mobility. And time, great. We're going to step back with the right leg into a rear lunge. We're going to go halfway down. We're going to take the right arm, we're going to swing it up, and then pull it like you're rowing. Swing it up and pull. So that's our movement for five reps. Ready? One, pull. Two, pull. Three, pull, four, pull, five, pull. And then we switch sides. First, stabilizing in that rear lunge, going halfway down, a little pelvic tilt. I want to get a stretch through this quad and my hip flexor. You're going to reach the arm up towards the ceiling. And then good posture and just row. Ready? One, pull. Two, pull. Three, pull. Four, pull, five, pull. Excellent. Now we're going to do something called a gate swing. It's kind of like a dynamic sumo squat. We're going to start with our knees together in a slight bend, and you're going to hop out and sink into your thighs. You can place your hands on the top of your thighs if you need support, and then snap your feet back together. We're going to do that for time. So just 
Don't worry about counting reps. Begin. Strong back here. Turning the toes out. And hold the next one. Hold. Just sink. See if you can tuck your pelvis down. Your hips are going to drop towards the floor. Turn your toes forward. Inhale to straighten and stand up. Shake the legs out. So we're fusing together some of my favorite movements with some of my favorite martial arts movements. So still in an effort to properly prepare the body and just get stronger overall, we're going to move from a wide position, straddle in our feet. You're going to inhale, reach up to the ceiling, walk yourself down all the way to a plank. So I want your wrists directly underneath your shoulders. You're going to kick your right foot all the way across to your left ankle. You're going to drop your hip. If you want the progression, you're then going to lift your hip up, lengthening the top arm, return it to the ground, kick the leg back. Kick it across, drop the hip down. As you lift the hips up, if you want the progression, go to a single arm and twist. Hands come back together, and then you reset in this wide plank. And go, on your own, pick which one is gonna work for you. Another one of my favorite martial arts movements is really just a push front kick. 
I love it because of the way in which the quad needs to be used to get a beautiful extension and the core is used for stabilizing. We're gonna use a chair. So, a push front kick, as well as a snap kick, has four phases of movement. The first one is the chamber, that's the lifting of the leg. As the leg lifts, it folds in half. The foot forms immediately. So the second your foot leaves the ground, it should be determined whether or not it's doing a snap, meaning pointed, or you're doing a push kick, therefore the ball of the foot is in position to make contact. The second phase of the kick is the extension. So this is one, this is two, three is pulling it back with a recoil, and then four is setting it back down. I like using a chair as a guide. So if I'm not feeling super warm and flexible, I can go through the bottom of the chair. If I'm feeling flexible, I can go to the top of the chair. We're gonna do it together. We're gonna go a couple times just breaking the movement down. Ready? One fold, two kick, three bring it back, four down. One fold, two kick, three recoil, four bring it down. Now we're gonna do 10 together. Ready? One. You can go as high as you want. Two, three, Always recoiling. Four, hands stay up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great, we're gonna switch to the other side for me. I like using the chair because it gives me a target. Something to kick at or to kick over. Okay, so let's break down the technique. We have one fold, right? That's chamber. Okay, so it goes chamber. Two is extend. Three is recoil. Four is set it down. Let's do 10. Ready? One, two, extend from the quad. Three, I want to see that nice and strong. Four, five, six, seven, eight,
Step forward and back. My chest stays upright, my shoulders are back. Let's do the other side. Holding my chest up, my fists are on my hips, stepping forward and back. If you don't have a lot of flexibility, you can stay in a high bow stance. I want you to focus on the outside edge of the anchoring leg staying connected to the ground. So avoid the ankle rolling down and buckling at the knee. Excellent. Now that we've broken down the technique, I want you to do five reps per side for one minute straight. for another round. We're going to add a front punch, and in this case, we're going to make it simple. We're going to punch with the same arm as the leg in front. So I throw the punch, and my body is very long and lengthened, almost like a warrior pose in yoga. Still using the energy of my front foot to push and bring my legs together. All right, let's do five on each side. One, two, Three, four, five. Great, other side. So now the front leg, front arm move together. Still upright in your chest and long spine. One, two, three, four, five. Great, let's do that again.
step feet together. I gently sit down, making sure I'm not hurting myself. Let's do that together. Ready? Hands on the ground and up. One. Stand, feet together. And two. Feet together. Have a seat. Three. Four. Five. Great. I'm going to break it down for you on the other side. So with my left hand on the ground, my left hip on the ground, my right foot is my point of contact. So I have three points of contact here. One, two, three. I push the ground away, like the movement we did at uh, the beginning of this little interval, and I'm gonna push off this front foot, jumping my feet back behind my hand, and then I'm gonna get up.
a very simple martial arts breathing exercise. I don't want you to overthink it. It's pretty basic and we're only gonna do it for a few moments. Make your feet about the width of your shoulders or hips with your knees softly bent. From this position, your pelvis should be neutral. Your shoulders should be down and relaxed. I want you to turn your head side to side to make sure you have no tension in your traps. Your arms are gonna lift up like they're floating up. They have helium in them and they're raising and then you're going to just let them float down like you're pressing air away. Pretty simple, right? Now we're going to add our breath. We're going to inhale as our arms float up. And then exhale to let them float down. Easy. Now we're going to add a little bit of movement or cooperation from our legs. So now we're going to inhale a slight extension of the legs. Exhale, softening the bend in the knee. Inhale. Exhale. The hands are open and relaxed. I want space between your fingers. Just continue. So when 
you're in this position, you should feel that your ribs are opening up. I'm gonna put my other side down, sit up as straight as I can, reach my right arm long, then drop that knee down towards the ground, opening my chest up towards the ceiling. And back to the center. All right, you guys, thank you very much for joining me in a workout that is featuring my favorite martial arts movements for exercise.